What is up guys, Brick Boy 109 here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing my custom Series 11 Maxes. So, I'm really excited for these, and to be honest, I just want to get this review done, because I like keeping my Mixels just as they normally are on the Maxes. So, after this, I'm probably going to deconstruct all these guys. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this. So, here's the Infernite's Cousins Max. And I wanted to make this guy look like some like big like fiery monster. And I actually got that across really well, I think. Just this big flaming monster with fire coming out of its mouth like every other Infernite's Max has. He's got these claws here, which are all articulated. Arms on the ball joints. You can open and close his mouth. And if you want, you can take those fire pieces out. And just close it entirely. He's got some set, multiple sets of teeth here. Oops, sorry. And a flame coming out the back of his tail. Uh, his feet are turned out a little blocky, but I got them generally what I want to be like. He's got like the horns up there too. Um, just like some scary demon flaming guy that just looks really cool. In my opinion, I just really like this guy probably the favorite max I've made. It just looks really cool. But uh, let's move on to the automobiles max. Here is the automobiles max and I tried making it look like a truck, like a transforming uh, max, like the MCFD, but that didn't really work out so I just went with kind of like the torso looking like a truck. So you can see there's a window in there, oh, there's a wheel in there too. Got a pipe coming out the back, lights back there, some lights in the front, bumper. Good looking face too. Um, he's kind of got like the arms from uh, uh, one of them, Carzo, and like an engine up here too. Uh, his legs look a bit incomplete and that's partially because there wasn't many useful parts in this guy. They're just more like specialized parts, so it was a bit harder for me to work with it. But it turned out okay, I think. You can roll him on the ground, it's fun, but yeah, I think he's probably my least favorite of the the three Maxes, although he does look pretty cool. But uh, let's move on to the plants. Here's the plants Max, and this one is pretty cool actually too. It's got these big feet that kind of look like uh like a tree trunk almost, like some flowers on here. Uh, he's got two points of articulation in his mouth. So he's got a ball joint here and a ball joint there. So it's really fun to pose him. He's got a pretty good face too, it's funny. Cabin nose up there too. Uh, he's got a big open mouth, the tongue. It looks pretty cool. He's got just these tiny little arms, which I'm okay with. There wasn't many pieces. I'm not very good at making the maxes because I only have certain parts that I can use. And I'm not too good at building Legos, but eh, who cares. Alright, let me tell you my overall thoughts on these guys. These guys were decently fun to make, I would say. Except for those automobiles, those were really annoying. Um, Yeah, they were fun. Uh, I might do mixes. Maybe. I still haven't done that for Series 10 even, but maybe I'll do mixes. I think every series should have two mixes and one merp. Then all the maxes, of course, and just the regular characters. But, yeah. I think easily my favorite would be the Infernites. And I think he's my favorite out of all the maxes I've made so far for Series 10 and 11. But, like I said, I'm probably... I'm Well, I know I'm going to do Series 12 after this. Then next year, I want to have, like, the regular, like, release schedule for Mixels, like they'd normally be. So, only two series this year, but, yeah, I just wanted to have, like, a full year of Mixels done. So, it'd be three series in each year, and I have 18 so far, and they look really cool together. If you want to see how they all look together, go check out my overview of my Series 11. But, yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.